Let's talk about Solomon Nash's social conformity experiment. Have you guys ever wondered how much of our beliefs are directly influenced by the majority? Whether it's political, scientific, spiritual. Solomon Nash's conformity experiment. Solomon Nash conducted an experiment to investigate the extent to which social pressure from a majority group could affect a person to conform. So for this psychological experiment, Solomon Nash gathered about seven to nine college students. And every single one of those college students is an actor except one. And in the experiment, he presented the group a chart with three different lines. The participants were asked which of the three comparison lines were equal to the standard line. So the actors in this experiment were told to purposely choose the wrong answer. To see if the participant would agree with the group. But he himself didn't know that they were actors. So the group purposely chose the wrong answer, such as A. But obviously A is not correct, it's C. C is equal to the standard line shown right here. But the participant in the group went against his own obvious senses that C was the correct one and went with A with the rest of the group. Because most people are predictable and they fear being the black sheep. So they ignore reality and they conform to the group. Over the 12 critical trials, about 75% of participants conformed at least once and 25% of the participants never conformed. In the control group with no pressure to conform to confederates, less than 1% of participants gave the wrong answer. So in the control group with no pressure from the majority, the participant chose the right answer because there was no pressure to conform to the group. Conclusion, why did the participants conform so readily? When they were interviewed after the experiment, most of them said that they did not really believe their conforming answer, but had gone along with the group for fear of being ridiculed or thought peculiar. And there you go, that's most people nowadays. Sometimes they don't even believe their own beliefs, but they believe it because of the group. And they just simply don't want to be ridiculed, so they just go along with the group, even though they don't believe in the beliefs of the group. The experiment revealed the degree to which a person's own opinions are influenced by those of the group. Ash found that people were willing to ignore reality and give incorrect answers in order to conform to the rest of the group. There's two types of social influence when it comes to conformity. Informational influence when we conform to others because we believe that they have accurate information. Or normative influence when we conform to others because we want them to like and accept us. And that's just a sad reality whether it's in the scientific community, in a church setting, in politics. People suppress the truth and reality to conform to the rest of the group so they won't be laughed at, ridiculed, and mocked. And because of that, truth is thrown out the window in different fields, whether it's in the church, or it's in the scientific community, or it's in politics. You know, I really love people as individuals. They're lovely. They have interesting beliefs, thoughts, and ideas. They're creative. But as soon as people start grouping together, they're just awful. Individually, people are awesome. In groups, they suck. They suppress truth and individuality for the sake of conformity. But yeah, guys, most people are predictable. And we're out. Thank you.